I guess something happened to me this year, too. I don't hunt anymore. So, yeah, I, I fixed up the Impala, and I just drove. After you look for me. Did you look for me, Sam? That's good. No, we, we... Always told each other not to look for each other. That's smart. Of course, we always ignored that because of our deep... Let's do this. ...abiding love for each other, but not this time, right, Sammy? I don't know whether to give you a hug or take a shower. <laughs> So you just turned tail on the family business? It says family, quite like the whole family being dead. I wasn't dead. In fact, I was knee deep in God's armpit, killing monsters, which I thought is what we actually do. As far as I knew, what we do is the thing that got every single member of my family killed. I had no one, no one. And for the first time in my life, I was completely alone. In fact, every relationship I have ever had has gone to crap at some point. Benny has been more of a brother to me this past year than you've ever been! But the one thing I can say about Benny, he has never let me down. Well, good on you, Dean. You must feel great finally finding someone you can trust after all these years. Did you want to know what I confessed in there? What my greatest sin was? Cass let me down. Was how many times I let you down? You let me down. The only person that hasn't let me down is Benny. You quit? Yeah, yeah, I, you were gone. Dean Cass was gone, Bobby was dead. I mean, Crowley even chipped off Kevin and Meg to... Sam, it's been six months. I can only assume you're dead. No, don't try and reach me. You won't be able to. I won't be calling this number anymore. He was our responsibility. And you couldn't answer the damn phone. From a university, answering questions about admissions. Man, listen, when this is over, when we close up shop on Kevin and the tablet, just something I'm looking into, and an option. You're seriously talking about hanging it up? I'm not talking about anything, Dean. I'm just looking at options. I'm done. I mean that. No, you don't. Happy birthday! Dean, the year that I took off, I had something I've never had. What is this? A normal life. I want that. I had that. Yeah, I'm not lying. But I never once betrayed you. I think that's just how you feel right now. I never once left you to die. You should have looked for me when I was in purgatory. And for what? A girl? You never even wanted this life. Always blamed me for pulling you back into it. That's not true. Really? Is anything you've ever done since you climbed into my life been to deceive? What do you want me to say? That I made mistakes? I've made mistakes, Dean. Well, let's go through some of Sammy's greatest hits. Drink the Check. Being in cahoots with Ruby? Not telling me that you lost your soul? Or how about running around with Samuel for a whole year? Let me think that you were dead while you were doing all kinds of crazy. Those aren't mistakes, Sam. Those are choices. You left me to die for a girl? You do not want to kill your brother. You, you've been protecting him your whole life. Don't stop now. He left me to rot in purgatory. For the record, the girl, her name's Amelia. Amelia Richardson. She and I had a place together in Carmel, Texas. Hey, man, I don't even remember what I said, but... Uh, oh, what? You didn't mean it? Like this. You and I both know you didn't need a penny to say those things. Sam. Own up to your crap, dude. I told you from the jump where I was coming from. Why I didn't look for you, but you... You had secrets. You and Benny, 
and you got on your high and mighty and you've been kicking me ever since you got back. But that's over. So move on or I will. With Bobby dead, you and Sam are all each other has. And that's not so bad, man. I need you to be safe, Sam. That's what I you told me yourself that you see a way out. You see a light at the end of this ugly-ass tunnel. I know. What happens when you've decided I can't be trusted again? And who are you going to turn to next to me instead of another angel? Another... Another vampire? I came ready to save you. I'm willing to let this bastard and all the sons of bitches that killed Mom walk. Because you don't you dare think that there is anything past or present that I would put in front of you. It's never been like that. Ever. I need you to see that. I'm begging you. I want you to get out. I want you to have a life. Become a man of letters, whatever. You, with a wife and kids and, and, and grandkids, living to your fat and bald and chugging Viagra. That is my perfect baby. And it's the only one that I'm gonna get. Sam, I want to slam hell shut too, okay? But I want to survive it. I want to live. And so should you. You have friends up here. Family. Hell, you even got your own room now. You were right, okay? I see light at the end of this tunnel. And I'm sorry you don't. I am. But it's there. And if you come with me, I can take you to it.